vintage General Electric P977A, P977B, uh, AM, FM, solid state transistor radio. These were super, super common, and I read they made over a million of these in the late 60s, early 1970s. Um, very common GE radio. You can find these all over the place, all over eBay. It's a great basic AM FM radio. They're fairly reliable. This one, however, is quiet, so we are going to diagnose and repair it today. Like I said AM FM, two way power, kind of a very basic generic radio but uh, they work and they they work okay and I'm not sure where this one is made possibly Hong Kong it doesn't say but being GE we could assume we don't know super heterodyne Japanese IF cans, Japanese tuning capacitor, um, the audio output looks like germanium transistors, see those big huge heat sinks on it there. These are a little bit tricky to get apart. These capacitors are Sprague, and I was questioning whether they were original, but they're dated 1968, so um, it's very possible. That's the power transformer. It also runs on batteries. It's powered up. Let's turn it on. I could swear, could swear I could just hear a whisper out of it with the volume all the way up. Let me. And that's it. It's a very low hum with just a whisper of sound. I'm on AM now and it's the same thing. If I hold my ear up against the speaker, I can hear it tuning through stations very well. It's sensitive. It's just very quiet. It's the audio's in with the hum. Let me see if you can hear it. Take a look at the schematic here. It's always good to have the schematic. Um, so the audio comes down here into the volume control out of the volume control into a 0.5 half microfarad electrolytic through the AF amp into another 0.5 and then we have a 250 that isolates the speaker and what is this one here for this 30 microfarad is that some type of feedback or some type of yeah that's some type of feedback I think watch me look stupid um, so what we should do is we should find C5 and C6 here and see, I would like to try and diagnose it from the top rather than try and disassemble it. Disassembling GE radios is always a bit of a... Okay, this is upside down, but here's C6 right here. 
and C5 is down here by the volume control. Here's C5 and C6. They're both uh, Econ brand. Removing this board from the cabinet is quite tricky as I remember. You have to desolder a bunch of components and leads. I would rather not do that if I could diagnose it and repair it from the top. This is interesting. The uh, schematic shows this should be a 3 microfarad capacitor that is the uh, What, what is the purpose of this? Oh, this is uh, AGC feedback. And it's 200. And this is the capacitor that couples to the speaker, which is supposed to be 250, and it's 200. So anyway, um, maybe someone has worked on this before, and they just put in there whatever they had. I'm going to try heating this one and this one up with a soldering iron. Sometimes, but not always, this will get the ESR to go down a little bit. It's getting louder. You can't tell because of the frickin' airplane. So it got quite a bit louder when I heated this one up. Can't argue with results. Okay, this is a 684 monolithic, so 0.68, and you can hear it's a little louder. Let's try heating this one up again. y manipuladoras obviamente teníamos razón hace nada nos decían que Biden estaba 11 puntos por delante y There you go. so unfortunately I was trying to pick this one off the top of the board so I could just tack it on like that one and it ended up I really don't want to take this board out of this radio the cabinet is not in the best of shape and I really don't you de being your phaser. Okay, call me lazy, call me sloppy, call me whatever, but here's what I ended up doing since one of the leads broke off. See how I brought it over and attached it to the correct lead on the transistor? All this capacitor does is goes from the collector, couples the signal from the collector of this transistor, to the base of this transistor and these were 0.5 microfarad electrolytics they are now 0 0.68 0 0.68 microfarad uh, monolithic so let's see how it works Surgieron en momentos de crisis. ¿Qué hicieron? ¿Cómo lo hicieron? Es 
está en un mes para agradecerte con marcas favoritas como The Dreamed Online. They'll also be able to go the Richie Valens Recreation Center in Manuela on Wednesday morning from 8.30 to 11 o'clock where they'll receive a commemorative parade face mask and coin and a... Vice President Joe Biden urges us all to stay calm and be patient, saying the process is working. We have a special report coming up at the bottom of the hour. It's 2.25. Right now, your traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the fives. We check in again with Tom Tran. Northbound side that of ringing the might be a bad capacitor, too. We'll have... Antenna's not even up. Channel 6 Analog TV. Wow, it gets K-Jazz with the antenna down. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, that ringing seems to be an intermittent here. I'm not going to be able to hear that with the camera. Maybe a little rattle in the speaker there. Really? It's still like... Hear this? This is, hear the flutter in this FM station? This is an extremely weak station from the valley. It's one of the college stations, I think. And the radio has to be really good to pick this up really good. So this is one sensitive ass radio to pick this up. Joe Biden with 253 electoral college votes. Mm -hmm. And the biggest prize available to Biden is just a little bit to the east of Michigan right. in Pennsylvania, uh, where again, this is a state where the president was way up in the election day vote and where Biden has closed rapidly on him as mail-in ballots from around the state have been tabulated. Behind it, you're still pretty busy on the five. We love. See your doctor yet? Don't wait. This could be deep vein thrombosis, a blood clot which could travel to your lungs and lead to a pulmonary embolism, which could cause chest pain or discomfort. Ooh, I want one of those. Yes, service. You guys check in first. How do you get your car back? Free. No obligation. Consultation today. Let your lights. Why she go? She do. She bleed. 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 You're going to get in control of this brain, and Dr. Amon will help you do that. If you need some help with a counselor, if you... Cuban influence uh, in terms of Cuban voters... Norwalk Boulevard. Everyone. Alexa, of poll workers 
ballots, uh, just scrunching up ballots they don't like and throwing them in the trash. Give us a, your analysis. Okay, so what I did is I put the back back on it, the plastic cover, and that stopped the kind of vibration, mic microphonic, whatever we had thing going on there. Um, and it's working really well now. This radio works really, really well. Yes, news special report. Election 2020. America decides. Joe Biden, 17 electoral votes away from becoming the country's next president, again today expressed optimism. Each ballot must be counted. So I'll, uh, I'll say, I'll give this radio a good score, actually. I'm pretty impressed with the sensitivity on FM. I still think there's a little microphonic thing on AM here. If I could... On the specifics, and we should continue to point out that despite all these allegations that there is fraud and that this is rigged, there is no evidence that that is actually true. One of the states still up for grab is Nevada. Here's CBS's Alex Chin. The state plans to report new batches of votes daily starting around 9 a.m. local every day. Right now, Joe... <laughs> Hearing and seeing and every white witness that's coming forward, I don't. Anyway, I gotta run. Thank you, uh, James O'Keefe, Charlie Kirk, 800 941. Sean, you wanna be a part of the program? You know, very scary times. We got a lot of this now coming up on Hannity tonight at 9 with accompanying videos and people going on the record and telling America the story, some of the threat of perjury, you know, that they're signing affidavits saying what they saw. You, you think it can't happen in this country, right? It's happening. You didn't think the Russia hoax could happen either, did you? You didn't think Hillary's dirty dossier I mean. would be used to spy on a candidate. Hear that. You? you didn't think it would be used as, a, you know, the basis to get a warrant to spy but on a But I'm going to use it. it. I'm happy with it. All right, Pure Talk Quick USA, fix. if you use AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, they're going to save you 400 bucks a year. GEP977A, AM, FM radio, repaired. Too bad capacitors. Quick fix. Sloppy quick fix. Now. 